Hi guys. Hello guys. So, hey, welcome. Where are we? Yes. We are in Bad Kissingen at Aventeuer Allrad. Uh -huh. First of all, it's the last day of this show. Uh -huh. So thanks for the people that met us at uh, Krug stand for the meet and greet. It was an amazing experience. It was, it was really nice. Yes, unfortunately we did not film because we were talking and so busy so we couldn't film. But mm -hmm. maybe we find some solution and uh, one guy out there, if he sees that, he filmed everything, maybe he sends me a nice uh, email. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Here's Matteo, he's sleeping at the moment. Yes. So yeah, now in this video you're just gonna see quickly how the Abenteuer Allrad looks like. We now are in front of it, the entrance, and we're gonna walk in the last time, walk through, show you how it looks yeah, like. The companies that show what they, uh, they brought to the Messe and everything. Exactly, so check it out. We don't know what's gonna happen, enjoy. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living given for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Welcome. There it is. The Abenteuer Allrad has from small trucks, like jeeps, everything. Nice uh, cabins for pickups, has different halls. Here's Eaglehout, really nice. They built nice sprinter vans. Here's a Land Rover, beautiful. This is nice. This out. A nice old Porsche for overlanding, also possible. On the other side, you see also a cabin builder. Servus Max. <laughs> this is Max. He drove us several times. <laughs> Expedition vehicles, you can show here the... Here's expedition vehicles, it starts. We have uh, one of those trucks in our videos, comparisons. You can check out the inside if you want there. The link is above to the video. Yes. Ah, oh, look at this beauty. Oh my God. Amazing. Yeah, and here are some more. And it gets more crowded and more crowded and more crowded. Another expedition. We walk through here. Four wheel 24 is also here. Nice. 199,000. Here's another one. You can buy a used one. Beautiful. A lot of technical stuff on this trade show. Water filters. Like you guys know, we are already set up, so we are done with the shopping. That's good, right? Yes. <laughs> really Check good. it out. Rooftop tents. I yeah, know some of my mini. friends. The mini with a rooftop tent. You can There's travel a... with anything. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter what you drive. We always say what matters is that you drive it. And check it out. Here's a mini with a rooftop tent. Amazing. Awesome. There's cool boxes from Engel. And boom, here it is. Back there, you see the corner of our friend, Markus. He's very busy right now. I don't want to bother him, but that's okay. Uh, you're going to see other videos here. We're going to link them. It's all good. We're going to link them. Here's Mr. Sepa filter. You're gonna see that in our truck because we're gonna install it. So whoever has questions, we got to Get ready to answer your questions. There we go. We're gonna link him somewhere here. 
<laughs> Perfect. Very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Greetings to Markus. He's very busy selling. I see that. <laughs> That's the biggest model now that you can buy at uh, Bimobil. This is the new from Bimobil. Yeah. Last addition to the family. It's also on an MAN. There you go. You know that from ours, our old one. There's the nice, beautiful Klappe with a lion. And there it is, a TGM 18320 for whoever is interested. And of course, it is the newest edition. You saw that at Caravan Salon already. And we have a picture with Isabella. Uh -huh. When it was a chassis, we have pictures. So you can see that maybe here how it looks without a cabin. Sure. We were there in December for our last service for Frank the Tank. Sure. Unfortunately, the time to get a B-Mobile is now officially three years. Yeah, here are some extra spare parts. I mean, this trade show has everything that you need. And this is what, we don't have a car right now because we're waiting for hours. But if we would have a car, yes. I think I would like this one at home. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Here you have the bead locks and you can look the inside. inside. <laughs> this is the tire. That's how a tubeless tire looks like. And here you see what the bead locks do. They lock the bead, obviously. So here you can see they push uh, the rim and the tire together. So this is what we are looking into. So if Hutchinson sees that or somebody has a contact, leave a comment. We would like to change, but obviously it's probably expensive. But let's see. So this is hopefully soon on our truck. And there's different versions. And uh, yeah, nice, beautiful. Hutchinson is here. So maybe we find a person to talk to. Here's Mr. Kerkam. Hello, how's it going? This is cool. Look at the quad garage. <laughs> they have a quad inside that's all possible everywhere on a 6x6. Six six. Nice. Also, Iveco is still in trendy. The smaller version. Beautiful. That's like B-Mobile. <laughs> this also here, they do uh, lifts and suspensions for trucks. Uh, pickup trucks, normal trucks, big trucks. And here we have, look who we have here. Here we are at Heiko from Kla Trucks. And of course he wears a Master Wall jacket because he's doing that. the combination as well. Ah, there we go. This is Didi Wilhelm. This is the one we have, I think. I'm not sure, but we have this alternator. 
And in the background here, you see the guy that built it in for me. He talks to Isabella right now. Everybody is done with the show. So no one wants to talk to me anymore. Akela from Alp to Alp. That's also possible in a Rundhaube. Nice. Fast. Domitik is here, of course. Yep. With all their fridges and setups yeah. for traveling the world or camping. So now let's say hi quickly to our friends. Yes. The sunny side. Yes, sunny side. I, had the we booth. have a video running. They have a booth here, their own booth. Yeah, this is really nice. Servus, Caro. Hello. You don't mind. We <laughs> just do our last bye bye tour here, the sunny side. <laughs> they is are here, here, Caro. <laughs> and how is it going on the trade show? Fine. Thank nice. You. nice. They also have a baby now. Yes. They have also a baby yeah. now. <laughs> and a doggy, but everybody's gone with grandpa. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. Yeah. Uh, you're lost. <laughs> so, pleasure meeting you. I see you on the road. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sunny side. Check it out YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So here we walk through Unicat and this is what a lot of people ask, that why not this one? They do a great job, I mean there's nothing wrong buying a Unicat, um, but if you are not really technical like I am not, there's a lot of technical details you have to be careful about, and, uh, but they built you everything. That is really, they don't do so many trucks, but they do everything, but the, everything has its price. But it is nice trucks, beautiful. Here's a smaller version. They have nice rack systems. And basically I only see MINs. Yeah, beautiful machines. Here. I am not sure if that helps you guys, but maybe you want to read that. Nice. And this is what we have inside in a combination with the other guy I just talked to before, Heiko. Uh, we have this combinations from Victron Energy. Nice. We will show you how it runs in our truck. Here's food at the Abenteuer Allrad. Everything is available. And by the way, everybody has to have the 3G plus rule, whatever. You have to be tested, everything before you come in. That's why no masks and everything. And check this out. This is beautiful. Toyota Land Cruiser 6x6. Amazing. It's just something freaky nice. <laughs> nice. Also one of my favorite cars, to be honest. Here's the new version. And look at this, the old versions. Yeah, and now I can already see it. Here's the company XCAP, and behind is our lovely Krug Expedition, where we are building our truck right now. And in a month, or one and a half months, we are probably on the road again. Here are the company XCAP, they do the Steyr conversions, and on the back, <laughs> on this beauty, is a Krug cabin so they have a kind of a combination if you want a Steyr modified then uh, you can put the cabin on top and here is oh wow I see a video and I see my face how funny <laughs> here we are at Krug Expedition here's Miriam 
and here our video runs and you know I guess you have seen yeah. Isabella sagt uh, ja jetzt geht's glaube ich los also in der Früh gehe ich raus und in der Nacht war wirklich minus 13 Grad ich gehe im LKW sage okay starten wir schon mal mach die Heizung hinten an LKW tut nichts fünf Jahre lang sind wir überall gewesen also da wenn das passiert wäre hätten wir echt ein Problem gehabt und genau an dem Tag, wo ihr geboren wird, äh, geht das Ding nicht. Und es ist keine Story, es war wirklich so. Und dann ich natürlich zu meinen Eltern wohnen fünf Häuser weiter da in dem Ort, wo wir wohnen. Die grennt, ja, brauchst Auto vom Vater. Ja, der ist mit der Massage. Ja, <lacht> Vater gerufen, zieh dein Wumpel um, wir müssen. Und ja, Vater kommt, zack, zack, alles hat funktioniert. Und wir sagen, das Wasser ist gebrochen in meinem Vaters Auto. <lacht> nicht in unserem, Gott sei Dank. Nee, aber aber dann haben wir das auch geschafft und der Plan war wieder mal für einen Armen. Wir haben halt einen anderen Plan gehabt und waren dann halt in diesem Geburtshaus. Da haben sie dann ein Zimmer gehabt und da sind wir dann das Wort Ja. Das hat alles funktioniert. Das but there it is, an Arox. I say an Arox because it's not ours, but kind of this is how it's gonna look like. So check out this beautiful weather. And there's Matteo Zinho still sleeping. Here you see the rhino, and here you see by Krug, like we have everything in our truck. This is going to be our heating system. This is going to be our water system, kind of. And this is not going to be our truck, but this is the T High Five. A shout out to Toby and Sylvie and their kids. Um, they went uh, through Africa and we had a lot of contact and maybe we're gonna go also to africa let's see and this is our new chains nice uh just a little tip we put them in accidentally wrong the red side needs to be inside but other than that it's gonna be those chains and here we have the arox from rito he's right here with his dog rasta and uh, yeah this is his truck and uh, kind of the box uh, is the example how we wanted it and there we go and here we are at the booth of Helgeth and Helgeth is specialized on Mercedes custom built beautiful trucks and beautiful work they do so this is again the Hutchinson rims that we would like because here with these bead locks you can basically run the tire with no pressure and that sometimes maybe can help and here we even see it at an Arox it's actually almost our Arox and this one has it <laughs> Hellgate is obviously a Unimog specialist Red looks really nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And this is the Cetros from Blazemobile that Fabian did an interview, right? Yeah, uh, here we can put a link yeah. to the, the video. Comparison. We did a comparison Cetros 6x6 versus Arox 6x6 of Krug. Ah, this is TI Systems. We're gonna have their system on our truck and hopefully we're gonna test it soon on our truck. There it is. I guess this is the pipes, the tubes, and this is uh, what they're gonna build in our truck. Nice system. Colleagues from Orange, our friend Emma in Manuman, Tiak is driving one of those, his second actually. I hope to see you soon, greetings. And uh, yeah, beautiful trucks as well. Oh, this is a 6x6, six six. nice. 
Here's another version uh, of uh, an Overland vehicle on an Iveco chassis. Iveco 110-250 Euro cargo. Everything is possible. You just got to do it. Again, doesn't matter what you drive, what matters is that you drive it. Beautiful. And all over, if you come here to this trade show, all over is uh, cabins and solutions, Here's roof more. tents. This is another company with a rooftop <coughs> terrace. That's a nice. nice idea, whoever wants that. Some tents. Here are our Polish friends from Optimal. Uh, shout out to them as well. Pretty nice young company. Uh, learning in the learning curve. They also have our truck here, 2033, with a little different setup. Here's a booth for TerraCab. Also, a nice little truck. So, everything is possible. A G Wagon. Yeah. It's also nice. Nice setup. So we have seen a lot of uh, MIN and uh, Mercedes here, but this is also an option, a Scania, the R500. All in all, our research guy, uh, greetings to Rito, <laughs> he did all the math, he told me, and he said, well, in 10 years, the Arox was uh, the best choice when it comes to the money but Scania produces very nice off-road trucks if you want. You don't see them so often, but yeah, what we saw and what we heard and what we've heard from other people, it's pretty good stuff too. Oh, people. Oh, Pippolito. Look, a doggy. Matteo Schein, Hund. And here we have a bucklet. <laughs> nice.